with their homework. It also helps us find out information about parents, uh, what they would like their children to learn, how they would like their children to learn. And like Neil was mentioning, you know, the business community and what kind of technology needs or skills that they want to see students graduate from high school with. So there are just a few more weeks. Uh, so January 19 is the last day. We want everyone to try to participate because this will help us also formulate our grants. Neil, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, I'm a project lead for a federally funded grant called Enhancing Education Through Technology, like which that. is uh, working through uh, with the local to supplement as much of the technology for students as we can, from devices to internet connectivity. And we know that the way education looks today, uh, it's very hard to accomplish any of those things without all the wonderful resources technology can bring. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are not yet at DOE where there is a one-to-one -one program for students. And so we need to do things in the meantime, such as mobile carts that have access points on them with 30 laptops that a teacher can move from class to class so we can get students access. And the survey helps tell us, are the students accessing the technology? How often do they access the technology? As Issa said, there is a homework gap. If a teacher is doing digital learning and the kids go home and have assignments, but they have no device or connectivity at home, what do they do? So the survey does tell us they are going out to McDonald's, they're going to coffee shops, they're going to our public libraries that are building up more and more in Guam. Uh, and that's important information to have to see where we've been and also where we need to go. And the fact that there are so many young students here, and you know, like tragically so because of whatever economic situation they might be in, find themselves unable to access the internet at home or on mobile devices, you know, conveniently wherever they go on the island is astonishing and alarming because a lot of people believe that internet access these days, it should be utility. Just like you know, like power service, phone service, water service. Agree, and there are project programs uh, through the phone companies for folks that are with limited income for them to get discount internet. There are laws uh, federally that some of the Project of Tomorrow information helps influence mm -hmm. for policy for those kinds of things and funding through the FCC. Okay, can we take a look at maybe the converse condition too? Because kids are so sophisticated these days, and you know, Issa, you covered education when you were here at KUM for so many years, and you saw kids using, you know, like phones, communicating with each other over, you know, a litany of messaging platforms and everything. Is part of the survey to determine, you know, like um, the teacher's competence level too? Because kids might actually know more about technology, what platforms, you know, they know how to program all this stuff way more than the teachers do. So the teachers have to get up to speed as well. That's true, but we, I know that you just sent the email out that there are some free technology courses for our teachers. So we're, de we're definitely um, trying to help train our teachers and provide more of those skills. The information does come from the survey, and that is a survey that uh, we use to gauge some of the trainings that teachers need. Uh, we had teachers report back for our district, 48% say they're still very beginning level at technology, yet we're expecting these great advances in using applications, et cetera, in the classroom, yet they don't have the skills themselves yet, mm -hmm. sometimes students teaching teachers. Uh, so we do want to find that information out so we can provide some more training for them. Uh, the whole communication for GDOE, we always want to know how do parents find information. You know, a big change, I'm sure, from when you and I went to school, uh, and according to the Speak Up survey, even nationally, 58% of parents communicate with their child teacher by email. Right. That's amazing to have that kind of really private conversation that always goes on, uh, that schools need to be prepared that that is something that's going to happen, that there are websites that school districts or individual schools might have that post their information, whether it's open house. Uh, students' projects, et cetera, that parents need to be able to go and, and find out. And we want to know how, is, how are they finding out that information, what's the best way to get our word out. Okay, well, sit tight because we are going to continue this very fascinating conversation about technology in the classroom and how you can let DOE know your thoughts when we continue right after this.